Algebra Bros, what's up? Mr. C here, and in this video, we're going to solve another equation using the graphing calculator. Uh, here we have x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 6x minus 2 equaling 0. Now, key thing about this equation is that the right hand side is the number 0. And anytime one side of your equation is 0, uh, it might be a good idea to use the 0 feature instead of the intersect feature. Okay, you don't have to, you could rewrite this to get rid of the zero on the right, uh, but, but the purpose of this video is to go over the zero feature, so I'll stick with it. Now with the zero feature, you only need to define one equation, and the equation uh, will be defined using the left-hand side of uh, the equation we're provided. So I'm going to enter that into y1 in just a moment. So there's just going to be one graph, and it's important to remember that when you're using the zero features, you want to find any x-intercepts, because those will be your solutions. <coughs> so with that, I'm going to go to my graphing calculator and type y1 in. So x to the fourth, we'll hit the x key, caret key type in 4 to get back down on the ground, right arrow key, minus 3x cubed, plus 6x, minus 2. Now hit zoom, select option 6 for the standard viewing window, and here it comes. A uh, funky looking graph, but uh, as you can see, it, it appears as though there are two x-intercepts. Right, so I'm going to go back to my notes and just sketch this out. All right, so it did a little funky thing like this, and that's the graph of y1, or at least a very rough sketch of it. And indeed, it looks like there are two x-intercepts, so there are going to be two real solutions to this equation. And we're going to use the zero feature to start things out by finding this x-intercept. And here's where I'll go back to my graphing calculator. <coughs> we'll press second, trace, and select option two, which is the zero option. And because we're finding this x-intercept, we'll answer the question of left bound by moving our blinking cursor somewhere up here on the graph. Now how you would know this is a good left bound is because it's to the left of this x-intercept. Another way of saying it is if you were to look directly down at the x-axis, you're on the left-hand side of where it's crossing. So I'm satisfied with that left bound. Now you have to define a right bound, which should probably be somewhere right here on the graph since it's to the right of the x-intercept. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And your guess what you're going to do for that is move your blinking cursor as close to the x-intercept as you can. All right, You won't land uh, exactly on top of it in most cases, but as long as you're near it, that's good enough. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to press Enter. And the x-intercept is at roughly negative 1.32 comma 0. I'll stay on the screen for the second x-intercept, which is around right here. I'll press second trace, select option two. And a left bound should be somewhere about right here on the graph. Okay, it's a little closer to the x-intercept, but still on the left-hand side. I think that'll work. Press enter. And we'll define a right bound by going maybe right here on the graph, because that's to the right of where the graph is crossing the x-axis. I'm happy with that. Press enter. And we'll move back down to get a little bit closer to the x-intercept. Press enter one more time. And we're looking at roughly 0.35 comma 0. I'm just going to go back to my paper and indicate the coordinates of each of these points. This was at roughly negative 1.32 comma 0. This one's at about 0 0.35, 
comma zero. In terms of the solutions of the equation, we want the x-coordinates of each of these points. So there are two real solutions, and I'll list them out here. Uh, one is x is approximately negative 1.32, and uh, the other is approximately th uh, 0.35. And we did it. We used the graphing calculator to approximate the real solutions to this equation. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.